With the transition from Season X to Chapter 2 being very complicated and so many questions being asked by the community, for example, where has the visitor even gone to? Did the event go to plan? Or did it go completely wrong? Has he repeated this before and it's just a complete repeat of time? These are all questions that the community are constantly asking. I'm getting these questions all the time. And I thought in today's video, guys, we'd break these down and I'm gonna analyze every single tape, every single thing during the actual event and also the little secret screen which we saw at the end of the event. I'm gonna start off with the secret screen to start with, and then I'm gonna go through all the tapes, all the messages that we received, and I want you guys to watch the entire video and comment down below and answer them questions. Therefore, as a community, we can work out these answers that we still don't know. I've done my best to analyze everything in this video, so to start with, I thought I'd start with the secret text messages between the transition of the end of chapter one and the start of chapter two. I don't usually ask for this but after spending 24 hours piecing together this video it'd be absolutely awesome if you guys could smash the like button and see if we can get over 5,000 likes and help this video reach as many people as possible also if you're new around here consider subscribing i'm your number one source for storyline and map change content on youtube so thank you everyone who has been supporting me anyway let's get into it so let's break these down you can see them kind of playing quickly here just to give you guys an overview of what these were and at first i actually thought these were maybe something to do with the game loading and a lot of people just ignored them when the game was loading up you're probably that excited for chapter two you might have been watching the video on the side or you might have been doing something else but these little things popped up and i thought to myself hold on this has got to be to do with the storyline at some point so let's have a little look at these in a little bit more depth and i'll put them on screen slowly rather than just going through them all and here you are guys so let's break these down so the first one we have is initiating subloop text transmission I'm not too sure what this means but potentially could be to do with something and the visitor and his communications then we have security and encryption m7 authentication which is quite interesting something to do with maybe some sort of encryption then redirecting received so it's like he's redirecting the rocket or something that's the sort of thing i'm getting from this maybe he survived because obviously there were six rockets and one rocket went through the black hole we'll talk a little bit more about that later on maybe he did survive surprising is the sheer volume of matter resolved around the bridge Assuming that the bridge is where all of the visitors met at the same point in time with the rockets, they talk about how it's a surprise of the amount of matter around there, as if maybe something did go wrong. Kind of an interesting one. Next, we have extensive charting and analysis are required, as if his rocket survived. You know, remember when the six rockets kind of guided the like, meteor down? One of the rockets actually went into the black hole slash orb. Maybe that got into a different galaxy before any of the other rockets could, and the black hole dissolved or destroyed what was in that area. Pretty interesting stuff. Our next bit is about a team. Our best redacted D4 team has been scrambled and inserted. This relates to the current storyline we have with the EGOs inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale world. I'll be explaining that in another video following line goes and explains how we expect resistance and similar embedded agents this relates to maybe the war we have between the egos and probably the dark or good side which we still need to break down like i said in another video in as quiet as possible but the gaze of others may now be turned towards zero that's interesting because that could relate to the zero point still being used in the chapter two storyline and the final statement we see is a whole new world awaits as we know and we see that in the trailer when the trailer starts up it kind of zooms out and we get kind of this animation as if like maybe the rocket has discovered a new place or something kind of like zooms out really quickly it looks very similar to the season x trailer and then we get this whole new kind of galaxy where we see the puddle be stood on as if that is a reflection of the sky and this is now when we jump into the chapter 2 storyline about the EGOs, which will be an entire new video. Now to summarise what I've gathered from this kind of interpretation from the actual loading secret screen that we saw, I actually believe that this could be a potential visitor flying his rocket, analysing the area, and then maybe putting together some sort of team or some sort of like characters which he's formed or created and sending them in to scout out this new planet. That's the kind of thing I'm gathering from it, but we need to break down the tapes a little bit further, and to do that, we're going to have to start at the start of Season X and talk about how on earth did Season X become Season X. So we're going to get into that right now. So if you really wanted to be picky about where this started, it's technically Season 4 because that's when the rocket went up into the sky and caused the huge rift beacon which spawned Kevin and eventually which formed the orb. But Cutting to the point, the orb was the start of season 10. This is where the actual robot picked it out of Loot Lake. He squashed it in his hand or squeezed it and caused this huge kind of rift effect to kind of scatter across the entire map. That in itself 
basically summoned what was season x we saw in the season x trailer so much going down the rocket flying through the visitor coming back and that is where it's all kind of started from then throughout season x rift beacons started popping up we saw that all over the map and then obviously that led us to the event because then rift beacons were needed to gather the tapes and that's what we're going to analyze in today's video to start with i want to start with the idea of everything already being done in the past there are two phrases used in two of the tapes which actually imply to us that this has all happened in the past and it is being repeated over and over again in different realities so let's start with that take a little listen now that i witnessed it firsthand when i hear this again now that i witness this firsthand and when i hear this again implies to me that the visitor has already been through this event once in the past He's done it several times. He knows that this is something that he knows how to do. And this tape is exactly how you need to do it with one of the seven. Obviously, the seven of them have to redo this again. This is also supported with evidence from the word once more right at the very end of the tape. So listen to this little extract here, which gives evidence that this has happened in the past. Take a little listen. The zero point must be contained once more. The phrase once more that he uses there, the visitor, explains that he has done this in the past. It kind of gives proof of this. Now, just a quick clarification for everyone out there, like myself and people who were a little bit confused from this, Donald Mustard actually tweeted this being the scientist, and in-game it was called the visitor tapes. So to clarify what he's trying to get out there, he's basically provided evidence that the visitor is the same person as the scientist, but in seven different universes. Pretty cool, pretty much makes sense. So let's go on and listen to these next two tapes, which are actually gonna be tape four and five. I know I'm doing them in a weird order and I will play them all back to you at the end But I want to do them in this order because it makes more sense And it makes it easier for me to explain the storyline because tape 4 and 5 are going to explain how season X Started and where the tapes came from so let's listen to them first before I analyze them The theorem was a success I us you arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion this effectively paused the singularity giving us time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction what i didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from within the loop itself thus this hasty and primitive recording and why not you i find myself looped okay so them tapes are basically explaining how season x started the first one goes on and says how his theory was a success and this basically caused everyone to arrive in the paused singularity and that's what we have given us time to create devices needed to synchronize the junction and that's what's going on here we see that season x started with the rocket coming in with the trailer and that's the visitor or one of the seven arriving back at this point in time then the next part of this was a little bit more confusing but what he's saying here is what i didn't factor was the only way to trigger the device was within the loop itself so this is inside of the zero point thus the hasty and primitive recording and why now you i find myself looped so when he says now you i basically talking about whoever's listening to these tapes is doing the loop right now who have to complete this task which he's already done in the past so what he's saying there is he's had to do this in the past and when he was inside of the zero point he actually created these tapes for the next person and then the same person has to do the same again and the same again for this same event which could happen millions of times at different points in time however as we know the event didn't go as planned well, not exactly anyway, from what I gather. So let's go on and analyze a few of the other tapes to try and explain it a little bit further. Here is the analysis of the first tape. Take a little listen to the tape first, and then I will explain it. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever this explains how all of the visitors had to meet up at that one point in time when the bridge was open and they could all connect together which worked perfectly because they obviously followed the timer when the visitor rocket ticked down they all followed that timer in their own different dimension and perfectly met together which worked out really well the other line they say as well is about other people watching now that could actually mean us as players 
Or, in a different parallel universe, we could see other kind of events like this taking place, or maybe even different galaxies spectating what's going on in this galaxy with the black hole side of stuff. You know, you see how chapter two started, it was quite interesting. Now take a little listen to the second part of the tape. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. The idea of interdimensional matter collisions resolving rather than pushing explains exactly what is going on on screen right now, where all of the dimensions merged into one to create this giant rift. Now what was really handy about this was the word pinched, because the word pinched works in a few different ways here. We see how all of the rockets use their power and science together to create one rift for the meteor to pinch through it fall into it basically, and again using the interdimensional matter collisions to create that one huge rift in the sky which was big enough to allow the meteor to fall through it and that is what led us to the end of the event. Now, with the event taking place the way it did, we actually had one rocket sacrifice itself into the orb, or should I say the zero point. So technically that rocket either exploded and disappeared or went into a different dimension. We know that the orb itself is a rift in the sky because only six rockets actually come down from the sky right now you know you see the meteor fall and you count them there's only six of them there one two three four five six so that's quite an interesting thing to consider where is that last rocket and therefore this believes me to think that the first rocket that crashed into the orb managed to escape the black hole and teleport into a different universe and maybe it was that rocket that discovered the chapter 2 map and deployed the agents down to the chapter 2 ground the EGOs. So that's quite an interesting thing to consider. Is that the visitor the one that escaped? Because considering what happened to us on the island, we can assume that the other six rockets got sucked into the black hole as well and basically disintegrated. So quite an interesting thing. Anyway, let's move on to the next two tapes which I've got to analyze for you guys. When I hear this again, will it help me remember? Or once looped, will I be just as muted as the others? No matter, it seems the lengthy precautions work. Now what's really interesting about this, when I hear this again, will it help me remember? Well, to me, thinking about that is, could this have what caused it to go wrong? Because maybe one of the seven forgot. Maybe they didn't remember when they heard this again. Maybe they didn't understand exactly what they had to do at the last minute. And maybe that's why it went wrong. I don't know, it's only questions to ask right there. That's the only evidence that that tape has given me to the actual event, so there's nothing really coming from that one. Anyway, moving on to the next and final tape. Activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing. The zero point must be contained once more. If they are correct, it will be the end. This tape kind of goes back to the start of the event when the timer hit zero, launched the rocket. We assume this happened in six other worlds as well, as if we all gained access to the tapes through the rift beacons. So I'm guessing the other six as well had their rift beacons all linked into different worlds so we could gain access to the tapes and listen to exactly what to do. So we all knew to launch the timer at exactly zero, which we all did. All the six of the visitors, including the one that we had here, so that adds up to seven, all launched their rocket at the exact same time now the line that adds a lot of questions to things is if they are correct it will be the end now the word if they the word they makes me think who are they like are they correct are they saying here the visitor is trying to cause the end or is he saying that if you get this event wrong and something goes incorrect someone else may have told him that if this all goes wrong then they are correct so the person that told him the other outcome they will be correct rather than the intentions that the visitor had for this event hope you guys understand that there yes it's very complicated this storyline and that's why i wanted to break it down for you guys as much as possible the word they is still confusing me it could be anyone out there it could be dr vinderman it could be anything you know we don't know 100 percent anyway i want to move on to the numbers that showed up during the actual kind of black hole event which took a while until chapter two came out but it was pretty interesting so let's move on to this now i know so many people believe this but there's a side of me that's saying now these numbers just didn't mean anything because we started to get numbers which didn't even relate 
to the certain word in the actual tapes because the numbers were well out of the range of the amount of words that we had. But anyway, this is what first came out from the community and I thought I'd just go over it again, but just take it with a little bit of pinch of salt just because we started to get numbers that were well out of the range and maybe the numbers didn't even mean this. We don't have any confirmation on this at all, but supposedly the first set of numbers were I was not alone, others were outside the loop, this was not calculated, the moment is now inevitable. Generally meaning that I was not alone, so the visitor himself was not alone during this event, there were other people out there, he knows that. Others were outside the loop, so considering the loop itself was the actual zero point area and everything was looped all in one, he's basically saying that there were other galaxies maybe outside of this loop, hence chapter two when it zooms out in the introduction. Then we have this was not calculated, which could imply that he failed. And this was not 100% what either they said or he said. The whole thing went completely wrong and completely broke the loop exactly how it was meant to be. Then he said, the moment is now inevitable. Basically saying that we're in this black hole position and we can't get out of it. We've got to watch this hole for ages. And obviously we watched the black hole for a good amount of time and we're now in chapter two. And maybe that moment is now inevitable. It had to happen this. And then obviously he's also implying potentially that the moment that could be inevitable is potentially chapter two. Like it's going to happen. It has to happen all again or something in another reality in a parallel universe has to kind of go and repeat itself in time. So the moment is now inevitable. That line does confuse me a little bit because the moment is now inevitable. Like what moment is he on about? It's still, it, it just leaves so many questions in my head. I can't put a point to it and what that moment is. But then again, this text that we're reading could just be nonsense and the numbers could have just not meant anything at all because later on, as I said, we started to get numbers that were out of the range of the text. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Remember to comment down below the questions that are linked in the comment section. Make sure you copy them and answer them and let me know what you think on that sort of stuff. I really need your help to solve this theory that is going on. Where has the visitor gone to? Do you... Do you believe the event went to plan or not and why? And also, has he done this in the past? Is it a repeat of something? We hear that with the tapes and stuff like that, as if he's been in in season four, for example, when he first went through the sky. Was he setting the tapes then when they said setting coordinates to the zero point? Maybe. That's another theory as well. I could break that down even further. There's so much going on on the map right now. Another question which commonly gets asked to me as well is pat what on earth happened with the scientist was the scientist in the meteor or was he in one of the other rockets now considering this one this is another funny one that gets me all the time because if you think about it in that meteor that came back down to the ground a lot of people assume it was the scientist but then we were getting screenshots from epic games of the visitor actually dismantling the mechs which means there'd be two of the seven on the map and only one rocket launched which means there were six other rockets which means there'd be eight of the seven which isn't possible if there's seven of the seven how would there be eight because technically if the scientists were on and the visitor were on the same map that must mean they must be in the same rocket because in the other dimensions where did the others come from there wouldn't be enough for seven people there'd have to be eight which makes no sense so that must mean that the scientist actually never came to our map and he generally just must have been a different version of a visitor or the scientist was basically the upgraded version of the visitor that returned in the meteorite and the original visitor completely vanished at the start of season four and we've not seen him since. Interesting concepts. Obviously, every visitor is the same, but they all develop their armor differently. Everyone in the seven is the same person, as we know from the different dimensions. Again, that answers that question. And that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope this has helped you out. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. If you're new around here, stick around for daily Fortnite content. I'm your number one source for Fortnite theories, storyline explaining, map changes, and a lot more on the channel. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's video. It's been a hard one and a confusing one, but I just feel free to re-watch it. Smash that like button and come back to the video if you need to in your liked videos and just keep re-watching it and understanding the event exactly. The more people that understand this and help me break it down will mean that we can explain the storyline in as much full detail as possible. There are too many YouTubers out there assuming things without breaking it down enough to provide evidence of these things and it does mislead the community a lot. You know, so I'm trying my best for everyone out there to see this video. So go and share it, smash that like button. It helps a lot and helps the video get out to as many people as possible. And once again, this is Postbox Pat. Signing out.